Here comes the love of my life. Hi, love of my life. You're full of hay, sweetness. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? Hello everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. My name is Letty and today I'm gonna just show you around for a bit and answer your most asked questions. Well, actually just one of them. Why is your baby goat black? And for those of you that are new to the channel probably do not understand the idea of why the question, but I'm gonna go through what my research has thrown at my face really when I started to look up the real reason why when you combine a chamoise or a brown goat with a silver and white goat well chances of having a black goat are very likely okay if you remember back in February Clara had her quads and she had one almost, I think he was completely black. And then he had a black and white. Then we got a silver. And then we had a buckskin that was cream and white. And I would call a little bit of silver um, in her back. Mocha ended up with almost two completely black goats. And with Clara, she had one and one that was black and white. So people continue to ask me if maybe, if especially Clara, if she was exposed to another bug or if there was any chance that she could have escaped or the answer is no. Rocky was the only bug that we own at the time. So they are 100% Rocky's babies. However, one of the things that I didn't know is that silver, it's only an overlay. So you see silver on top, but actually they carry the black gene. And that is why when a goat that has that black gene, like Rocky does for being a silver, is mixed with a chamoise who has black also in her belly and down her spine and legs and stuff like that, then you have high chances of having a black baby goat. With Mocha, same thing. She is brown and she has some white and she also has black. So when she was bred to Rocky, she ended up with a couple of black boys. One of them is not completely black. It does have a little bit of white, but really when you put them side by side with mom or dad, they look nothing like it. And don't get me wrong, that really is not something uncommon. Like you will see a lot of goats, dads and moms or does and bugs that look nothing like their kids. For example, Annie's little girl, she has a lot of Clara because she looks like a chamoise with a lot of white, but then she has those marble eyes and it's really like she's a mix of a lot of things and not necessarily looking like her mom or her dad or completely different. She's like a, a really interesting mix of all uh, her dad's side, her mom's side and grandma. It's, it's just kind of interesting, her combination. But having said that, it is not unlikely that the babies don't look like their parents. However, when it's such a big difference, like I have a white goat, white and silver goat and a brown goat and I end up with black babies, that was a question that was coming up more and more. And some people even messaged me about it because, I don't know, they felt bad about writing that in the comments. But really, I mean, I just think that that's mother nature for you. So I hope I was able to answer your question about that. It's just a, a combination of things that take place in order to have a black baby goat with no parent that looks like it. Now, one of the good things about black goats is that they will tell you when something is missing in their diet. And that is something that I did not know what it would look like, but as they develop it, you can see it clearly. They start to change their color um, and instead of being black, they turn a little bit reddish. And 
it kind of it's like a puffy coat and that's when you know that something is not right Mocha's boys they started to develop it a, a little bit of red around their ears and after you know having clear as I knew that that was a sign that something was missing. One of the things that I didn't realize is that Mocha's babies don't jump on the mineral feeders. Like Clara's babies, you've seen them over and over. Every time I would put the grain or I would put the alfalfa pellets in the mineral feeder, I usually use one side of the mineral feeder for minerals and the other side for feeding the dough at night. And again, you've seen this before. They would jump on it, not on top, but they would put their, their front hooves and eat. Would eat not only the pellets, but also will have some minerals. So. quickly realized after seeing a little bit of that reddish around the ear that those boys were not getting minerals and likely the lighter ones the other two silver ones were not getting it but they were not showing signs yet I mean it wasn't that bad so what I've been doing lately is just putting a little bit of minerals every day in a small dog dish and yes the big goats will get to it but I would refill it if it needs to be refilled because I don't care that they're eating from that or that they're having their minerals from that I just want to make sure that it's easy accessible for the little kids so that way they can have their minerals um, back and Mocha was showing like her coat was kind of rough and again since i started to put it down she's been eating even more minerals and i feel like her coat it's already so much better after she had the kids she was not looking great and she had her copper bolus and but her coat is was just not looking amazing and as you if you remember if you've been here for a while you know that she tried to reject her boys and you know that was kind of a phase I think she was going through a hormonal change something was not right maybe she had you know she needed a little bit more balance and um, part of that I think it was the minerals that she wasn't eating but now she is all over the minerals and you can see how much it helped improved her coat overall I did a couple of smoothies to help her um, she never had like a bad famacho score or anything like that but I did supplement with a little bit of iron and it really I feel like it perked her up a little bit more she took those babies back I mean Athene was kind of uh, taking over and she was being like this boy's mom she was taking them everywhere she was showing them how to eat and Mocha was like in a corner avoiding them altogether so I think it was just a hormonal imbalance because right now she loves those boys with her life like as much as she loved the twins last year she was such an awesome mom to them I couldn't believe she was rejecting these four boys but in the end it probably had to do with hormones and some kind of an imbalance in her minerals so I was ready to take her to the vet uh, when I started putting the minerals down and I started to see her eat more and more minerals with her babies and to be honest like three days later her coat started to look shiny she lost all the rough hair she had like really rough on her spine that was all gone and I'm really happy because she looks much much happier and again it's been a process of trying to help her get back to her normal healthy self sometimes I think that having quads requires a lot out of the dough and like you know she's putting all her energy in making milk and producing enough milk for four boys that are you know really good eaters so I think that the younger the dough is um, you know the kind of harder for the body and you know it, it should be the opposite but maybe it's just the way that the body is growing and you know I don't know but Clara 
did have a few days of a struggle when she had her quads and I feel like that was also more mineral related so I did take the time to make sure that she was eating her minerals I changed her minerals for something more specific for her needs and that kind of shows you that yeah they can have lots of kids but you really have to pay attention to their personal needs because again they put so much energy in producing milk that it's almost like they're lacking of those um, minerals and all that that she needs for herself and putting it into feeding her kids Oh, thanks for the kisses. Thanks for the kisses, Lo. Yes, I love you too. Mm-hmm.